Yeah. So yeah, it's super important. There's not there's not one successful person that I've ever seen or ever talked to or ever cared to that didn't have some kind of work routine in the in the, in the discussion, right? I mean, see what man Jeremy's like. This is what I do, right? Right? That's how I do it, and this is what he does. What else you taking now? Anybody? Anybody? They all seem to have like extremely good mindsets. Hmm. Those three work on their mindset often. Yeah. Probably so. I mean, you can just be I mean, it just oozes out of them, right? Yeah. Which is really, really important. What else you got? Choose who you spend your time with wisely. Yes. Yeah. Crazy important, right? Yeah. Yeah. That um that can get you off track. Take that a step further, right? So we obviously our environment we choose. How about in your business? What clients are you choosing to spend a bunch of time with? Right? Once again, this is always one I tread lightly on with new arrangements. You know, black lab mentality. But trust me, choose wisely in terms of who you are spending your time with, which is your clients as well. If they're running you ragged and you're feeling very busy because it's just one big circle, maybe it's time to just say, it's okay, but I'm just not there. Right? So that's a, that's a huge one. And let me tell you something. As you get stronger and more committed to yourself, yourself, right? Respect yourself, that'll be more apparent often. Right? Yes, sir. I had something to that short sure, real quick. I was just thinking about this the other day. You know, one of the indicators, guys, if you are constantly setting up a sales goal or a bi weekly sales goal and you feel yourself missing it, that's probably a good indicator that those clients that you thought you had coming in town repeatedly, it's not turning out. That might be your, one of your problems. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, that's when I did that, that story I told you. My deal was that I'm going to sell 40 homes somehow in four months. 10, I off the chair to 10 was kind of my number. So I'm not stopping until I do and I actually get 44. You know, I also went to a sales manager once in new construction and just asked him, I said, what's the highest anybody's ever sold? He's like, now, Scott, you're just coming back to the company. You shouldn't be talking about that. I was like, that's a damn question. You know? And he was like, well, it's 14, and that happened a number of years ago. And I said, okay, so I'm going to sell 20 in the month of March, and no one's ever going to beat that unless it's me. Um, I said, he was like, well, that's way too big. You should not be setting your goal. Maybe, but, but I did have it from like three or four, now we had to get 10, which is cool, you know. Maybe we should set 10. I said, thank you so much for the time. It's 20. I'll see you at 20, March 31st. It's all 20 homes. Nobody ever sniffed that, you know. But it's all right here, you know. And like Jerry said, don't mean like, but it's you versus you. It's committed to it. Like once I put that out there and committed to it, I was like, I don't want to on my face. Hell no. I've got to crush this thing, you know. And then you got to work. You know. And then new home sales when everybody else is waiting around, twiddling their thumbs, waiting for a walk-in. We, me and my sister, were on the phone the entire day, the entire day. And I told her. Do not listen to any of these clowns in the office. Listen to me. Follow this plan. By the way, you're bonus every time I put a deal on the board. She was like, yes, sir. And boom, 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 boom. There we go. Rock and roll. And you had a plan, right? So we put the number out there. I was losing mindset. Hit. It feels pretty good. 